Um, okay, so yeah, if you didn't get a chance to read uh, any the articles that were presented, that's okay. Um, I'm going to do my best to kind of like summarize slash like give my take on this. And I don't know, I hope as a Denver communist, like everyone feels the same, right? And maybe we can, we can make an actual statement or something. But um, so it should be no surprise that in September, the two parties both voted to give more funding to the Israeli uh, apartheid state. Uh, this has been their MO um, ever since I can remember. For revolutionary socialists, that uh, the performative tiers of AOC as well as the yes vote from Jamal Bowman were also expected, even though they are members of DSA and claim to be quote unquote progressive. Since 2016, we have heard vote blue no matter who, get out and vote. The squad will push them left among the countless other brain slugs that keep being planted in people's heads. Um, Working from within is not an option for change. It is a signal of capitulation uh, to the work, uh, to working class politics and working class emancipation. How is voting for the continued occupation of Palestine progressive or moving anyone to the left? Um, the vote for increased funding to continue the genocide of our Palestinian comrades enabled $4 billion in direct military aid to the state of Israel through repeated attacks on boycott, divest, and sanction tactics and Palestinian, Palestinian solidarity movements, as well as propag uh, a propaganda tour to Israel with a liberal Zionist organization, uh, J Street. Um, <clears throat> this is not the act of socialists, nor are the individuals represented representatives of anything socialist. They may tweet sweet thoughts and cry crocodile tears, but that does not stop the bombs being dropped on children. What the DSA leadership has shown is that the relationship with the electorates is more important. 28 chapters and 11 uh, YDSA voted to demand action, or voted and demanded action be taken, such as expulsion. The DSA leadership, many of whom are ex-ISO, uh, decided uh, it was more important to cater to the needs of a politician than to hold fast to the organization's principles. In this case, saying that you cannot continue to be a member of, if you actively vote for four billion for ethnic cleansing participate in propaganda tour, then while uh, there's outrage within your organization, go down to a town hall with the very same Zionist uh, like PR firm. The DSA leadership put out a for unity statement uh, that was the most disgraceful showing of social beliefs and the most undemocratic process ever. No chapter voted to endorse the for unity statement, though it did include high profile elected officials such as uh, Sorry, I'm probably going to butcher this. Jabari uh, Brisport and uh, Julia Salazar admits uh, like some supporters. You know, uh, Bowman posted with children or posed with children and hairborn, and then tweeted a while ago, "The occupation must end." I wonder, uh, you know, how he's feeling about that statement now. Um, in the end, even though DSA rank and file objected to this statement and demanded expulsion, the leadership dismissed this and took action. Here are some of their excuses. Bowman's position here is wrong, but he is not the enemy, which we can get into all of these later. The fact that both Bowman and AOC continue to meet with, uh, meet with and engage with DSA and other activist organizations is a testament to the fact that they value these relationships and their political positions. Uh, the first order of business is to give politicians who are generally on the right side of things but who make mistakes, including big mistakes, they put that in parentheses, uh, a chance to change their position. Um, the uh, National Political Committee will not re-endorse Bowman unless he is able to demand solidarity with Palestine or demonstrate solidarity with Palestine in an alignment with uh, expectations we have set. So they set these expectations, but they're not willing to enforce them even if they're not met, so uh, empty words. Um, in the end, Palestine, Palestinian liberation is an essential part of our struggle for a socialist future, not a symbolic statement for a politician. These uh, individuals, by participating in the Democrat, Democratic Party, are actively working against us and our ideas of a socialist future. The DSA as an organization has once again shown their bankruptcy. It is, in my opinion, that... DSA rank and file members should immediately leave the organization 
an organization that claims to be democratic in their actions but blatantly violates this or one that turns a blind eye on genocide because some people are quote unquote too important is not worth fighting for. The DSA leadership will continue to alienate rank and file all for a chance to uh, sit at the big table.